Boo. Let's do this. Um, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me again in this exciting journey through various lands uh, created in Edmonton. I don't know whether to keep this light on or off. The screen is paused in a unenviable position as as the game loads here. Um Yeah. Uh when last we left off, um so yesterday um the game had really opened up quite a bit, so I spent a good amount of time sort of uh questing through the the first big area called the hinterlands um and solving quests there uh gets you a resource called power which you use to um to kind of uh complete missions and and scout out new areas as part of your inquisition um and that brought us here to a land called i don't remember Val Royal. Um, that's kind of where we left off. Um, I had previously unlocked an area. I'd, I'd, uh, in hindsight, I did something a little bit stupid, which was... I probably did a lot of things stupid, but this is one that I'm more consciously aware of. Um, I used uh, 10 power points to unlock an area that... Um, like a, kind of a swamp area that as soon as I went into, I, I was kind of a woefully under leveled for so I don't think I can really do anything with it um, so that was kind of a waste I should have used those points on something that was more immediately accessible to me um, but I didn't notice at that moment that it actually tells you like recommended level range kind of like a destiny mission or something like that um, so yeah uh, now then to get my bearings a little bit um, there's something here. Search in the cave. Um, I think, yeah. I, I think, um, my, where last I left off, I was supposed to go back to, uh, to Haven. Which is kind of my, my headquarters. There's a fair amount to do. Well, soldiers talk to and we stuff. We maintain an Inquisition presence on Commander Collins' orders. There was some drama that happened here. I'm trying to get the oh, trying to yes. get various factions to side with me and so on. Kind of reminds me of um, aspects of the plot of the original Dragon Age game. That's a nice uh, bard playing music there. Um, city guard. Okay, I think I'm gonna just... Oh. Yeah, how about that, uh, quest image there? Let's see, search by the dock. Search in the cave. Are these all related? Oh, I'm not actually... I forget that what this game means by search is like, press the left stick. Oh, yes. And like, use your sonar. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the sonar stuff. At once. You have like spider senses. There we go. Okay. I can't believe it. That was something that like was totally actually I it didn't make sense to me at all. I wasn't necessarily thinking about it, but um one of the one of the folks in in chat um helped me understand it. It's like you have to get close to a thing and use your sonar um and that then like reveals uh 
certain objects that normally are not visible. Um, I'm not sure if that was explicitly taught or anything, but I, if it was, I, I didn't really notice. So good thing for for folks in chat helping me out a little bit here, although I like to suffer through this stuff on my own, more or less, though I not to force you to suffer through it with me. Nice looking area. So, as far as stocking evaluation, there's more sonar pinging, pinging, red handkerchief, okay, something I can read. It's funny when you just miss the interact points and you like jump instead of, well, we're gonna have to, I must uh, conduct further experiments for science here. Oh. What happens? Oh, it's not letting me. Okay. Drowning myself is not currently an option. Maybe there will be DLC for that. Um, I want... No. So the last... Thing. Is there one upstairs? No, it's not that. And there it is. I guess there are these fast travel. Oh, I could just go up here. I think. Nope. There's a whole like second story to this town. Those who tuned in last time, uh, one of the last things that happened was this lady just got decked. Um, and she's just like still. Let me be, survivor. Your presence here is not comforting. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We're not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. Okay. Sure you are. No, I did not see him. Um, so there are actually these fast travel points even in town. Nice and fast, because it's not like loading between areas. There's the other thing. Oh, looks like my dude's leveled up. It's doing the slightly annoying thing where, like, a party members are... They all level up at the same time, but on a slightly different cadence than than I do, so... Um, and I'm just auto-leveling them. So I don't even really know... I don't really know exactly... What? Is, okay, so he just got a new ability. I have faith that the auto leveling is um, doing an appropriate job. They do for sure seem stronger than. <laughs> it's called. That's that's my that's my version of fast travel right there. Um, so is there anything else then? Secluded courtyard. Okay. I'm supposed to go here. That's still the Red Jenny quest. All right, we'll see what happens. Oh, cutscene. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, 
Perhaps my people are the wiser option. And what do you want in exchange for the mage's help? Oh, I haven't promised the Inquisition our help yet. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Okay. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my lady herald. Straight up au revoir. They Come. speak French. Let us return to Haven. Uh, Hasun in in chat asking if I messed around with the graphic settings some more. Uh, yes, in short, I did. Um, uh, last time overall, the, the performance was pretty good. It got, it, it started to bog down in, like, having a lot of uh, NPCs on screen would really bog it down. Um, I turned off uh, the tessellation entirely, I think, um, which makes objects appear kind of much more detailed up close, but since it's like a third-person game in general, you can't really even get that close to things. I also turned down the the quality of the shadows a little bit, um, but otherwise most of the settings are pretty much maxed out. Um, I also tried uh, dropping the resolution. I'm streaming in um, uh, 720p, and, and I'm running the game locally in 1080p. Um, uh, but but I strangely enough the the resolution switch didn't seem to have any kind of discernible impact so I'm still running it at 1080p seems to be running pretty well though we'll see how it holds up in battle. Guys just on fire getting hit by oh. Yeah. Well, that worked. Hey, wait, was that some loot? Oh no, that was just the body like disintegrating. Cutscene. Oh, hello. Errol of Andraste. How much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is that? No. Oh. All right then. Ugh. Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah. Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... You're kind of plain, really. All that talk, and then you're just... a person. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the Herald thingy. So, she seems pretty cool. But, I'll stay you in character. You killed him before he could say who he worked for. And before he could shout magic. What? My people said the Inquisition would want him dead. So he's dead. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. Okay. Why did you take their weapons? Because no breaches. <laughs> no breaches. Pretty horrible way to go, actually. Someone hitting you in the back with a sledgehammer while you're stuck on the ground. Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> So, Herald of Andraste, 
You're a strange one. I'd like to join. I think I, uh, throne of, throne of games in chat saying my character kind of looks like Sigourney Weaver. Not, um, happy coincidence, I suppose. She kind of sounds like her a little bit, too. Um. How about we get to know each other first? You know, names and such. One I'm okay name. with that. No, wait, two. It's, well, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. But if you don't listen knifey down shiv here dark. Too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. Back there, you wanted to know if I glowed. Why? That's what you do, innit? You walked out of somewhere, and now you glow. Andraste's Herald. True or not, it seemed like the easiest way to know it was you. True or not? Well, that's what they say and all. <laughs> Look, don't get ahead yet. I want to help this... whatever it is. Inquisition. All right. It says she already joined. Oh, I see. That's interesting. That's cool that it, yeah, game lets me say, piss off, and she won't join. She'll be gone. I will let her join. She All seems right, pretty cool. Sarah, I can use you and it's your friends. Neat character. Yes. Getting good before you're too big to like. That the little the uh, where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these. You have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. I see. Now she's in there. Okay. I don't think... So she's a Varric replacement in terms of, like, functionality. Uh... Yeah, she seems cool. But, um... Gonna stick, stick with my my posse for now. Double bearded axe. Too many breaches. Okay, new party member. That's cool. Um. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's nothing. Just seeing what, where I can go here. I guess I'll try this. Attend the salon. It looks like a sub-quest type of thing. Yeah, Sarah seemed cool. I, I heard, I saw her uh, people saying good things about her as a character. Seems interesting. Pretty um, atypical, I suppose, for a fantasy RPG. Kind of foul mouthed. Uh, Elvin Lass. And 
nice courtly harpsichord music. I feel uh, underdressed. Lady Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. <laughs> the sledgehammer's a little out of place. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. Like these kind so you of must be a ridiculous of uh, Hunger, Hunger Games outfits. Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. I've never made any claims to holiness. What's your point? In front of all these people, you admit to being a pretentious usurper. We this know is like what a your conversation on the internet. Is. If you were a woman of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. Yeah, man, step outside. <laughs> what? My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness it's maleficent. is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? Shatter him. My lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? <laughs> I don't care. The Marquis doesn't interest me. Do whatever you like with him. Poor Marquis. Issuing challenges and hurling insults like some Ferelden dog lord. <coughs> dog lord. And all dressed up in your Aunt Solange's doublet. Didn't she give you that to wear to the Grand Tourney? To think all the brave chevaliers who have been competing <laughs> left for Markham this morning. And yours. Hasun in chat says crouch down uppercut. To your damaged pride to the by frozen defeating guy. the Herald I, of Andraste in a public duel. Or did you think her blade could put an end to the misery of your failure? Run along, my dear. Do give my regards to your aunt. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. I guess Allow I'm... me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Is your interest in the Inquisition Madame de Fer? Or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> Seemed awkward. It's professional, of course. That wasn't... Well, whatever. Are you devout? What's your opinion of the Chantry? I was a great admirer of the late divine Justinia V. The Chantry, at its best, unites the disparate cultures of Thedas and looks after its most vulnerable. Had she lived, Justinia could have accomplished so much. So yeah, once again, I can... I mean, it's interesting, this choice seems dramatic, of like, do not ally with them, or or ally with them. I, Although it sounds dramatic, I... I other than sort of the, the kind of like, I double-dog-dare-you aspect of... Um, 
the decline choice? I like why would you why would you say no? I have What's no What's in this for you? The same thing anyone I have no gets basis by on which to chaos. refuse. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. Oh, welcome aboard. What the Inquisition ifs? will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. She's not like a party member, though, I don't think. She's just... Okay, it's just like... Gaining influence. Something like that. Cool. As long as it nets me some... Some points or something. Friends of Red Jenny. It's kind of cool. Like it, like it seems these um, little loading things get unlocked. Uh, someone in chat points out, you know, if uh, regarding the choice of accept or decline in, into um, into the Inquisition, if you're role-playing a character who hates mages or something like that, you may decline. That's a... Um, that's totally valid, and I do think a lot of people play these games to, like, role-play, to try to, like... Inter role play in an internally consistent way of you know be be the paladin and always do the right thing or take the kind of most chaotic evil type of option possible or somewhere in between the idea of being like a magic hater is sort of interesting especially since your character has been like afflicted with some kind of magical curse as part of the story starting to rain out here. It's supposed to be like a crazy rainstorm this weekend, but it has not reared its head really just yet. Okay, I'm back in Haven. I don't know why it threw me back into Haven, but that's cool. And my power is up to five. Cassandra, Colin. I forget. Sarah Varick, it's all my party member. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Threat remains. And I guess uh, uh, Vivienne there is in fact a, a party member, so that's cool. It's sort of, um, yeah, it's tough. These game, you know, they throw a lot of potentially interesting characters at you, and you don't have room for too many of them in your party. It's cool to make the choices around who to travel with and. There's all the nice stuff around, like, inter-character banter, but... It's good you've returned. I guess it's good for replay you value and stuff. You want to play with different guys and get their you stories. You've heard? My agents in a city stand well ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know the Chantry is no longer a threat to us. Yes, and we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the Mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the Mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage rebel more united? It could be ten times worse. Find the Templars or meet the mages. I don't know, I'm kind of more into the Templars.
I think the Templars are worth investigating. I agree. What could the Lord Seeker be up to? We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. After the Divine's death, they're probably scrambling for allies. If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. Okay. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens hey, of Grey Wardens. Wardens vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. So you're telling me this because... <laughs> the others Star have Wars. disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Vlapo. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. What would be the odds of that? Okay. More influence. Quest complete. Is that a level up? No, that's uh, power plus two. Cult of Andraste. Let's do some of this war room stuff. We'll post soldiers a safe distance from the temple. Our best guess at safe, anyway. Okay, so I did that. Yeah, so it's... You unlock these missions, and you could send your various agents to deal with the missions um, in um, seemingly different ways. Can arrange. I like Liliana's approach to some of this stuff. So this is uh, some bad rumors going around. We're gonna have our spy master have. go and figure out who is spreading them. Chantry remains. Send a contingent of Inquisition soldiers. Or focus on clerics who can be swayed. I'm gonna leave that one for now. There's like two different countries, I guess, where you have these quests available. Champions of the Just required power 15. Choosing the Templars will make it impossible to work with the mages. So that's a big, big kind of binary. Uh, if I pick that choice, then I guess it's like a big story decision there. Sarah has scribbled a jar of bees hitting someone in the face, also a butt. Send runners. I mean, okay. At your service. Scout the storm coast. New 
area unlocked. Let's do it. Let's go there. A Soviet Misaki in chat is asking, what kind of game are you guys over at Supergiant Games working on after Transistor? Um, uh, Y'all are... Maybe I'll try Vivian. Y'all are totally... Like, I think part of the fun of doing this is, is to, uh, to talk to y'all, so ask away, but... Um, but, I, but I'm not going to, like... Uh, talk about new new project stuff or anything like that. We're we're still we're still figuring out what we're what we're gonna do next. Uh, thankfully, Transistor did uh, well enough that we will uh, we can carry on and we're sticking together as a team and figuring out where we're gonna go from here. So that that is exciting, but it takes us a while to figure out um, uh, what it is exactly that we're we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, you got questions about whatever, uh, what, uh, by all means, uh, ask away or want to backseat drive my, my playthrough or what have you, uh, fire away. But yeah, it was like, you know, if you, Transistor came out in May, that was months and months ago at this point. Um, and, uh, it's, it's kind of, it can take a while to you get back to a sense of normalcy once you kind of realize that once you kind of internalize it, you're no longer working on the thing actively as you were because it uh, toward especially toward the end of a project it can it can be pretty um all consuming as it were uh, occupy your waking hours as well as your your mind your worship. For what it's worth, your worship to the storm coast. I would have sent word sooner, but our efforts have been. I should be able to slap delayed. her for calling me that. How so? There's a group of bandits operating in the area. They know the terrain, and our small party has had trouble going up against them. Some of our soldiers went to speak with their leader. Haven't heard back though. I'll do what I can to find our people. Thank you, Your Worship. That's a relief. The soldiers didn't have an exact <laughs> did she start location calling for the bandits, that? but they were starting their search farther down the beach. With all this fuss, we haven't been able to conduct a proper search for the wardens either. Well, good luck, and enjoy the sea air. I hear it's good for the soul. I feel like my my character would um, would not approve of being called Your Worship. I, okay, cool. Oh, I can do this now. Inquisition weapons. Plus one power. Uh, what was that? Who's that? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure. Okay, so this place is... In my level range. And it's Harding mentioned. Oh man! Did Varric just like drop kick that dude in the face? Is that what I just saw? Oh, look at that flying around back there. That's bad news. Yeah, he's totally. Tr Totally dropping. This is my counter attack. I'm playing on um on hard difficulty by the way. There's one setting the waking sea. Somewhere across all that water is Kirkwall. There's it one setting. It was a long that. journey to Haven. That's cool. Looking. The company, I'm surprised it didn't feel longer. Nice waves. That's actually kind of scary. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> it like annihilated my health doing that.
those uh, one of those skull things to scout out shards. Uh, Getter in chat is is uh, is helpfully trying to point me toward a character that I could get. The, the thing is, I I like. I I would prefer to not benefit from the knowledge of someone who has played this game already, um, if that makes sense. I, I even if it means um, stumbling past certain things, because I feel like. It's like for the same reason that I don't like playing games with a walkthrough. I just want to. I would rather just stumble through it on on my own and and kind of make my own choices and mistakes through it and my own my own discoveries. I guess one of the consequences of uh, playing on stream, of course, is that um, it may. Uh, it may make less sense for me to play that way. Um, but I'd, I'd like to, so, so when, when folks in, this might interest you, sir. when folks in chat make suggestions to me and it seems like I'm ignoring them, it's, uh, I, I, I mean, I mean no offense. I'm just trying not to kind of benefit from outside knowledge as much as I can avoid it. I hope that seems reasonable. Report. What is it? See for yourself, sir. Nothing to report, sir. Okay. So she just put a point on my map. Where is that point? It's down here. It's straight up called a rendezvous point. It makes me think of uh, Call of Duty or something. Like that. Kill them all! Whoa, he's yeah. Oh wow, she has like no skills. I think I need to level her up or something. Oh, that's his dropkick. Okay. It's like a hook shot thing. not really dead, it's more... You get a big fat skull icon, but you just get back up. I guess Bioware's been doing it that way for a while. Um... Um... Yeah, okay. Up here. I guess I should be using my horse. I don't know, like, I have a horse I can summon, but I have to, like... Whenever I run into bad guys, I have to, like get off of it and the mounting dismounting is like just cumbersome enough to where it makes me not want to use it but that may maybe the wrong attitude It looks like there's no uh, day-night cycle type thing. 
Looks like it, the weather just kind of... Weather time of day state just kind of persists. Which is... Doesn't, doesn't bother me at all, it's just an observation. I'm mildly surprised considering RPGs are all about their day-night cycles, it seems. The... I should really be going for these archers first. I think I'm failing strategically on a basic level here. Oh, I just... Wait. Now I have to retreat. Oh, or I can just die. That's the first time that's happened. Okay, well, that's what happens when you full wipe. That didn't set me back very far, I don't think. Um, looks like something I should do... Yeah, she has like, freaking seven points to spend. I'm just gonna... Yeah, whatever. It's just auto-level. I don't see myself... Using this character a ton, I wasn't, like, particularly intrigued by her or anything. And, and, although Solus, the other mage, well, I kind of liked him. He seemed interesting. I was a little, I was a little surprised that they start off with, like, no skills, but I understand why. Um, I guess. It's like, so you can fully spec the character however you want, or something like that, but... A little surprised it didn't... I had to learn that, like, the hard way. And get into battle, and... Oh, she doesn't... She can't do anything. I haven't spent any points. So let's try this again. Embarrassing first full wipe. So I'm just like that was a good that was a good death because um the game is by killing me off, the game is teaching me that I should stop being an idiot. Start thinking at least a little bit more about what I'm doing here. And deal with threats in, in a certain order. Much better. Much, much better. Yeah, so it seems like those archers actually hit pretty hard. Um, as, as well they should. Reinforced shield. That's probably better than what... Sandra is currently using. A shield counts as a weapon, not as armor. Looks like it's a little better, but oh, that is just called shield. Griffin shield. That's ugly, though. Uh, her shield looks so much cooler that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna equip it purely for annoying aesthetic reasons. So there's an 
upstairs. It smells a bit of dead fish, don't you think, my dear? What? Well, watch that. Watch that next <gasps> step there. And I already pounded all pounded all my potions. These must be the missing soldiers. Murdered. Shit. I will see that their families are notified when we return. Disciple Fire Staff, Defender Mill. Bandit. Our men were murdered by a group called the Blades of Hesarian. It seems there's a way to challenge their leader. Naming themselves after the sword that killed Andraste. Ambitious. I found some armor. More importantly, whoops. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's quite good. All right, sorry, uh, Varex chest hair, but. We've got to keep him alive. Elven cow. So this is. So that looks like the defense is. Yeah. I'll try it. Well, I don't care. No. Apprentice armor. Oh, so that's much better than what she has. Shameful. Mean to a nice doggy. I need to actually, um... Well. I spy with my little eye. No. Oh, come now, Seeker. I'm just trying to be friendly. Try to be quiet instead. When you brought me along to talk, perish the thought. I need to go back to camp because I'm out of potions and whatever. Oh, can I make it that far? Probably not. That would be nice though. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I can fast travel back. Worst comes to worst. Yeah, let's let's get on our horsey and try to beeline for the for the camp. I got the game running pretty smooth now, relatively speaking. Seems like a good uh, compromise of performance and quality. It's 
a nice looking game. The the um, I really like some of the character model detail. Like they have rather expressive faces and stuff like that. Um, it seems like some some more than others. Like the Cassandra is really cool looking. Varric is cool looking. Carry on. <laughs> Discovered small grove. I'll go through there. Serpent stone. Was it pinging? Okay. The Grey Wardens Journal. And Grey Wardens are the dudes from significant to the Dragon Age story. were here at some point. I wish the uh, the little journals and things weren't written in all caps. It makes it a little harder on the eyes. Oh, I made it a here. Decent enough place to camp, I suppose. that wet tent. Change party, inspect positions. And do this? Yeah. Mercy's crest. Plus one power. Well then, that well, water is cool. Going to Rapture back here. of the coast. So that's another camp? Uh, signs of the Wardens. I haven't been able to close a rift in a while.
should really be uh, paying more attention to some of the stuff I'm looting. Skyrim horse action right here. Yeah. Walk up that steep incline. It's like a scavenger hunt type quest. This way. Amulet of Constitution. Grey Warden's Journal. Friendly folk, blah, blah, blah. All right. Let me check out what that amulet does. That actually sounds like it could be useful. It's going to keep me alive. Amulet of Power. Gain an ability point when equipped. Oh, Varric only. I mean, that's pretty handy, though. Wait. Oh, that worked. Increased ability. To, okay, so these are like really powerful. Enhanced knockback power. Ability duration. Talking to the pack master. Two percent bleed on hit. Amulet of Constitution. Special amulets are respect. Reward plus one power. Ability damage by 30%. That's a lot. Okay. I have another... oh, there's another one here. That's quite close. <laughs> so the radar pinging is actually... I don't know. It's kind of... It's, these scavenger hunt things are pretty fun, actually. Now that I understand what, what is going on. Grey Whiskey. Something else. Out of my way. There we go. The Dream. 
dreams continue as they just belong to the wardens. Someone to bad guys. Okay, what was the next? Oh wow, another camp. It's close. Some dudes I need to get rid of first. Not the ram. Let's pounce on the archer here. Hello, surprise. Oops. Boom. That's one counter. Driftwood Margin. Name of my indie rock band. Shall we make camp or move on? <laughs> I think we'll make camp. Nothing to report, sir. Whoops. Okay. Huh. Not a whole lot else around here. Fade rifts. I have one more. Okay, I'm gonna fast travel back here. And then get that last warden thing. Warden note. I think I'm gonna go back to Haven pretty soon. I, I do wanna, like, check in with my party members and that sort of thing. I haven't had any deep heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversations with them, which is part of the fun of all, the, big part of the fun of all this stuff, really. It says a lot for this game, actually, that I'm just like so caught up in just questing and whatever else that I haven't even really stopped to interact with the characters, which is typically my favorite part of a Bioware game. Ooh. Get your heart rate up going up this incline. Well, it's a path. A realistic traversal there. Party members are like, it is the will of the maker, or whatever, that I act like an idiot. Apostate's landing. Hello. Hey, it stopped raining. No, it's raining. Never mind. That's cool. The trees. It just doesn't rain when you're under a tree. That's a nice detail. It's probably kind of hard for them to do.
I'm really glad Bioware is still around making games like this. They they have done made some really fine games over the years. Um, I was working at Electronic Arts when when uh, Bioware was, was bought by EA, and I have to admit, uh, as as much as I was like excited, I was also part of me was also nervous because if you you know if you keep close track of of games and like have have looked into the history of games a little bit you know that electronic arts's track record with studio acquisitions is not necessarily pristine um, but while at uh you know while under whoa that is complicated I have to form the shape in the lower right corner without crossing a line. That is a lot more complex than the last one I did. But yeah, um, you know, the while under EA, um, Bioware has made uh, Mass Effect 2, which is, I think, easily one of their best games. Uh, and... Um, they say this one is not bloody bad either. I played um, the Old Republic, the MMO, for a while. It's just kind of it seemed it, it seemed cool. It's just like I was not. I think like a lot of uh, oh, I missed a line. Man, you could only restart. I think like a lot of uh, BioWare's fans, I do uh, have a preference for um, for their single player stuff. I I wasn't super interested in in an MMO. But yeah, it's I actually give a Oh, I don't even need to hit all these. Sorry, I'm like both talking and trying to figure this out at the same time. Let's go this way. I think actually um, Bethesda deserves a tremendous amount of credit for like the continued uh, for like these big RPGs that are happening because uh, Skyrim, I think, against all odds, was monstrously successful or at least like not against all odds by any means I think if you like play games at all then it's it came as no surprise to you that that the game is a success um, but uh, that was a mistake sorry I'm gonna try this one more time but like if you're a big triple a game publisher the idea that like a 200 hour long single player RPG with no multiplayer would be this massive hit um you would have you would have probably rejected that as an idea you would not have believed that um but then you know skyrim and fallout 3 and whatever those games have done extremely well oh i screwed up again i don't want to spend all night doing this on i feel like i'm getting closer but yeah, it's a good thing. I, I'm glad. I'm glad there's been competition among these big RPGs because um, it means games like this get the time and resources they need to to happen. Um, man, these are, these have gotten a lot trickier. I have to say. I already screwed up, so I didn't do this part. The first one of the, it's funny. 
tricky this got fast. Screwed up? Yep. Whew! I wish you could go back, like, a step. I didn't realize these were going to get this much more complicated this fast. Um... you have to like wipe your wipe out the whole thing and start over if, if you screw up like I did just there no I didn't not yet it, do, it also doesn't like yeah you ha you have to figure out for yourself that you screwed up which is kind of interesting complicated. Those are those are cool though. I like those. Oh, I don't want to fight a level eight thing. I could probably take it. there. I'm not getting my... I'm not getting like the sonar pulse thing. But yeah, um, speaking of Bioware and kind of all they've been through, you know, when when the when the co-founders left, that was like another kind of you know, if you're a big Bioware fan, when, uh, when Ray Musica and Greg Zestuk leave the studio, it's like, oh man, it's definitely a, kind of a sad moment. Um, but um, you know, this game happened after after they left Gordons must have moved on moved on to where i wonder they're searching for someone on warden business maybe secret missions or whatever it is they get up to when there's no flight whoever the wardens are seeking he's led them away from here and uh i'll be i'll be the first to tell you that uh, you know studios are for sure not made of like, Bioware games are made by big teams, um, so it's not any one or two or three people that make a game like this uh, as good as it is. It's, uh, by, by every means, a, a team effort. Nevertheless, when, when the leadership of a studio moves on, it, has, it tends to have symbolic implications, right? Um, I felt similarly when, uh, earlier this year, when uh, Rob Pardo left, left uh, Blizzard, uh, he was the, I guess, the 
chief creative officer over there. So I don't know what his title was exactly, but he was like their main design guy. He was a, started as like a designer on Brood War and rose up in the ranks, and he's given some really brilliant uh, design talks. So when Rob Pardo leaves Blizzard, it's like, oh man, that that's too bad. But then, you know, Hearthstone and whatever else, and Bl Blizzard seems to be having kind of a renaissance these days um, in, in spite of that so live and learn and it's it's great when uh, these kind of storied studios like Blizzard and Bioware can can continue and thrive you know even when key people decide to move on Okay, I think I may head back to Haven. There's nothing else really that I want to do here right now. Yeah, because there is, uh, how much? Points to spend. Oh, he actually, he has a point. Let's go back to Haven. Check in. Cool. Hmm. Ricky, guitarist, and Chad is saying, I thought the Viva Pinata games are good. Viva. Pinata was was awesome. That was a really neat game. On the surface, I was like, "Oh, it's some Pokemon knockoff." It was like it was nothing like Pokemon, which is also awesome. But uh, yeah, Viva Pinata was pretty unique, kind of a sim game. You created a little garden ecosystem with your little pinata animals. Uh, Rare made that. Rare is still around, um, but not not clear what they've been up to under Microsoft. They did like the they, they did like the you know the Xbox Live uh, avatars, and I know they did stuff like that. Probably a bunch of Connect stuff. Uh, Hasun in chat uh, talking about Bioware saying um, some of the PC support and some of the like the 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 PC controls for this game. I haven't even tried them. I've heard uh, that they are not awesome though because it's like uh, it's not like click to move. It's like influence based movement. It's just kind of not. not you would expect necessarily, um, though I shouldn't. I shouldn't talk having not tried it, but um, yeah, I guess these days developers have many control schemes to support, which doesn't give them excuses not to. I think it's it's a reason to, you know, try to do all that really well because people may play the game using a variety of of uh, interfaces or interface preferences and you wouldn't want their whole experience to be ruined because, you know, they don't have a 360 controller. And I do think Bioware, you know, I, I, I suspect that their hardest core audience is on PC. I don't know, that may be wrong. It probably depends on franchise or something nice like Mass, Mass Effect started on console. Can use them to fit our troops with better gear. Might not affect you much, but our recruits will have better chances next time some chances. monster flies out of a rift. Oh, she's already told me. material for a special order. Do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Make a go with you. Who do we have here? Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. 
Identify yourself. Who are you, soldier? Comissius Aklasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We most of that of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some Divinta mercenaries gathering the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information Bull. free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bulls Chargers can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. I know who Iron Bull is. What should I know about your commander? Iron Bull? He's one of the Denari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front, he pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. <laughs> I kind of like this character I'm talking to. She's pretty cool. And she's she's just there on, on behalf of I look of forward Iron Bull. to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. I was just there. It's a little... mildly irritating. Having to go there and back, but whatever. No bigs. I wonder how long I'll keep this sledgehammer around for. Requires a rogue. I don't know why I went back down here. Uh, Getter404 in chat um, points out with regard to the character I was just talking to. She's not a she, that's the surprisingly progressive part. Identifies as a he, everyone just follows suit, not even an issue. Uh, I agree that that's cool. I, um, I did not notice. Thank you for all that you I, I just judged it and it's just used. Uh, I was just going by the voice. But uh, so that that's just to be that the character that that's not like a totally disposable character, which is cool. I got like a cool impression from from that character just from the first conversation. Port ready, so I can. Make B grenades now. Game of the year, right? I think there's another one that was done. Got some influence. Oh, I haven't been. I still. get why these are still it's throwing me off a bit that those are still on the map so I could just keep doing this one I guess all right okay is there anything else here I haven't really run into the consequences of like conducting one of those missions the wrong way. I 
or something like that. Plus 30 influence. Blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Yeah, shut up. I didn't talk to Vivian. I met an elven mage earlier. Solus, I believe he was called. I admit I was surprised. I didn't expect to find mages among the Inquisition. Tell me, why were you at the Divine Conclave? <laughs> One of my dialogue options is not, there was a quest arrow on my map. I don't That's like the honest answer. The Templars won't listen to reason. Well, on that, we agree. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. I'm not deciding anything. Actions have consequences, my dear. Do not imagine that yours will go unnoticed Vivian looks like she uses a lot of moisturizer there. For almost there. a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. Nobody should claim to know the will of the Maker. Not me and not the Chantry. Perhaps nobody should. But if no one leads the way, many will be left behind in darkness. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. This conversation is over. All right. I brew one of them potions. I don't oh, this isn't. Hello. Yeah, it's Liliana. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. People die. People are killed all the time. <laughs> if the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. She seems... she seems down. Let me help you. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come. To work, then. We will speak later. Poor Liliana, having a crisis of faith. I'm a fan of the crisis of faith uh, character arc. Very relatable. Um, Sacred Ask told me that he can't let the herbs go for anything upgrade less than potions. How do I make Fine. a potion we'll of bees? That was. Tell Sagrid, he doesn't need a salve anytime soon. The frame rate kind of chopped up in here a bit. Jar of bees. 
though. Need a whole bunch of blood lotus. This is it, huh? Oh no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if you were a man, right? Wasted. Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. The Templars and the Mages? Most people pick a side. Most people are stupid. Where do you stand on the war? In the middle, with everyone, not a Trevelyan, or whatever. You know what I hear about mages? Nothing, until one goes all demony. Know what I hear about Templars? Nothing, until they take maybe mages. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. Is there something else you're looking for? Like what's behind all this? Maybe. I don't know. First things first, right? I help you march, march, arrow, kick. Then people stop being stupid, and everything starts to make sense again. Sound good to you, old touched Lady Herald? <laughs> Blatant. It would be out of character for me to pick this. I'm ready to give it a shot. That's all I can ask from anyone else. I'm in. It's an investment, yeah? Better pay off, too. Stupid war and everything. I had things to do. Okay. I'll get back into bashing things with my sledgehammer pretty soon here, I think, but... I want to check in with some folks. Need something? Red Lyrium? I've read your Tale of the Champion, and I have a few questions. That's a common reaction. Go ahead. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless. This is by all uh, Dragon Age She's 2 epilogue. Job, keeping them away from the Doesn't mages mean a lot and Templars to me. so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the Raiders. She's calling herself an Admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Hawk's brother Carver is still in the Free Marches, helping the Kirkwall Guard keep order. Aveline is still Guard Captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. Okay. That's a lot of Need information. Something. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagance. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. Funny story. I bought a salvaged ship and found her locked in a dragon bone reinforced chest in the hold. I broke three dozen lockpicks and blunted nine saws opening that trunk, but it was worth it. Who was she named for? I can't tell you. And the reason for that is... Complicated. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. 
Thanks, Eric. No problem. That's cool. Um. All right. Now then. Let's go meet Iron Bull. I think that's here. How am I supposed to find that, actually? I apologize for uh, just hanging around on the map. It's not super fun to look at. Oh, here it is. Alright. You darn bull. Fast travel. Alright. Off we go. Oh. Pick my party. I'll try her out. I don't know. I like Scylla's. These tarot card things are cool. I like the art for those. Nice touch. Power can be spent at the war table on scouting missions to advance the story or to unlock new opportunities. That is like... That sentence describes the structure of the game. Iron Bull, he is, uh, I know he is voiced by, uh, Freddie Prinze Jr., I believe, from such films as, uh, the Wing Commander movie, and, um, She's All That, is that right? Is he in that? But, it sounds, um, he looks cool in screenshots and stuff, I'm looking forward to meeting him. The Kunari character in the original Dragon Age, what was it, Sten? He was he was pretty cool. Oh yeah, and uh, Hasun in chat points out that um, Freddie Prince Jr. also voiced uh, Vega in James Vega in Mass Effect 3. Um, Vega was uh, the kind of like dude bro looking space marine guy. He seemed like he was going to be terrible just from looking at him, but he is like a he he was a cool character. I liked him. He's played. Pretty uh, lifelike. Getter uh, in chat points out uh, Freddie Prince Jr. was also in the Scooby Doo movies. Of course, how could I forget? He was. He was. Uh, he was, of course, Fred. Was he not? Yeah, I think he, he must have been. To report, sir. But yeah, Iron Bull is like a big, scary-looking character, and when you th when you think of uh, happy-go-lucky-looking Freddie Prince Jr. is not the guy you would expect to, to voice but uh, I I don't I actually have no idea what Iron Bull sounds like or I have some guess as to what his personality is but I, I've only seen uh, what the internet has had to say about him and try to avoid spoilers and stuff so probably get a cutscene here ah uh, must be him I guess we could just join in and help out here My basic problem with, uh, having Iron Bull seems like the kind of character I would want in my party, but, um, I'm already, like, a two-handed weapon in the future, and, and I kind of like, uh, and I kind of like Cassandra, so. But we'll see. Combat loot. In oh, 
The pain. Inventory is full. <laughs> Saddest moments in role-playing games include Charger. death of Eris. Inventory is full. Krim, how'd we do? Five or six wounded, chief. No dead. Okay, that's Krim. Yeah. That's what that's... I like to hear. Let the throat cutters finish up, then break out the casks. So, you're with the Inquisition, huh? Glad you could make it. Come on, have a seat. Drinks are coming. Iron Bull, I presume. Yeah, the horns usually give it away. That's a good line. It's funny. I assume you remember Chromisia Saclasi. My lieutenant. Good to see you again. Throat cutters are done, Chief. Already? Have them check again. I don't want any of those Tevinter bastards getting away. No offense, Krem. <laughs> None taken. At least a bastard knows who his mother was. Puts him one up on you, Canari, right? So, you've seen us fight. We're expensive, but we're worth it. <laughs> and I'm sure the Inquisition can afford us. How much is this going to cost me, exactly? Wouldn't cost you anything personally. Unless you want to buy drinks later. Your ambassador, uh, what's her name? Josephine. We'd go through her and get the payments set up. Gold will take care of itself. Don't worry about that. All that matters is we're worth it. <laughs> the Chargers seem like an excellent company. They are. But you're not just getting the boys. You're getting me. You need a frontline bodyguard. I'm your man. Whatever it is. Demons? Dragons? The bigger the better. And there's one other thing. Might be useful. Might piss you off. Ever hear of the Ben Hasra? Nope. I've never heard of it. It's a Canari order. They handle information, loyalty, security, all of it. Spies, basically. Or, well, we're spies. The Ben Hasrath are concerned about the breach. Magic out of control like that could cause trouble everywhere. I've been ordered to join the Inquisition, get close to the people in charge, and send reports on what's happening. <laughs> but I also get reports from Ben Hasrath agents all over Orlais. You sign me on, I'll share them with your people. Yeah, it's interesting. You could just... Um... They they have to. Th there's the little line of text above the choice to like make it explicitly clear what is going to happen when you make your choice. Is you could just say piss off Iron Bull and he'll never be able to join you. I like that he. You're a Kunari spy, and you just told me. I like this. Whatever happened at that conclave thing, it's bad. Someone needs to get that breach closed. So whatever I am, I'm on your side. You still could have hidden what you are. From something called the Inquisition. <laughs> I'd have been tipped sooner or later. Better you hear it right up front from me. That's cool. Yeah, I like this guy already. What's in these Ben Hasrath reports you're offering to share? Enemy movements, suspicious activity, intriguing gossip. It's a bit of everything. Alone they're not much, but if your spy master is worth a damn, she'll put him to good use. She? <laughs> I did a little research. Plus, I've always had a weakness for redheads. What would you send home in these reports of yours? Enough to keep my superiors happy. Nothing that'll compromise your operations. The Canari want to know if they need to launch an invasion to stop the whole damn world from falling apart. You let me send word of what you're doing, it'll put some minds at ease. That's good for everyone. You're hired. All right, you're in. Excellent. Krem, tell the men to finish drinking on the road. The Chargers just got hired. What about the casks, Chief? We just opened them up with axes. Find some way to seal them. You're Tavinta, right? Try blood magic. We'll meet you back at Haven. Cool. 
That's awesome looking. Um, I mean, it seems like you should have characters of different classes and whatever. Good to have a rogue. Good to have a. So now I have more than one of every of every class. I'll try Iron Bull for a bit. But... Level 6. Oh, and I need to level up Iron Bull also. up the buttons. Sometimes it's left bumper, right bumper, there it's D-pad. Ugh. Sorry. Fumbling in menus like an idiot. Um, flow of battle. Cooldown reduced. It's not very exciting. Probably useful though. Clear a path. Stamina restored. Ten percent. Requires a two-handed hat. 150% weapon damage. I mean, this is probably good, because it's like the final thing on the tree, so I guess it's like only a matter of time that I get all this stuff. So the question is... Critical hit. I feel like I never score critical hits, so it doesn't matter. 300% weapon damage. It's pretty unexciting. Let me check back what Battle Master. <sighs> kind of don't care about that grappling chain. Seems like yeah, all my other party members already have it. Oh, can I actually pick these out of order? It looks like I can. Maximum guard bonus. Challenge. Oh, this may be good. Any foe that attacks you in melee is going to bleed for it. Taking a portion. That's actually 15% damage return. Bodyguard. I'll just keep min maxing my two handed stuff, I guess. I'll take this. It's not, it's kind of boring, but whatever. Okay, Iron Bull is. Oh, and she also does. I'm just gonna auto level. Auto level. Okay. Um, what else is there? So, I have a bunch of more power points I could spend. Strariums. Oh, I did want to do this. I think I was pretty close on that one. Clear out some bandits. Oh, inventory full. I'll have to do something about that. I should just do Iron Bowl, Cassandra, and, and me in a party. It's just all crazy melee party with like one ranged support. It is kind of uh, one. It's like mildly unfortunate, I guess, that you. 
I don't know. I, I... What I was gonna say is it's a little sad that, um, you have to, like, trade off the... the kind of gameplay role of the character. Like, let's say you really like Iron Bull as a character, as... as I might, but, like, my character already is a two-handed sword wielder, so, like, I don't... I don't need him in my party from, like, a gameplay perspective. But I actually do... On the flip side, I do like when games um, sort of make you weigh narrative choices against gameplay choices. It's like an interesting way of balancing things out, and I think it makes you more just engaged in general. You start to think of the characters as, as characters and not just as like a collection of stats and abilities. So, so yeah, it's cool. I may end up with a less than optimal party just because I want certain characters in it. I think this is our stop. Someone's come with a challenge. The others fail. Bunch of skulls. So you would challenge the blades of Hasarian? Is it not letting me? Why is it not letting me pick a choice? There we go. There's been enough violence. Stand down. I earned my place here. Do you think I'll step aside for you? <laughs> that was awkward. Uh, looking a little dusty there. You all right? I was just a girl. I remember them, you know. Hey, that was by Varric. Telling me I can't, dude. I want that. Okay, I guess I'm throw something away. I have some armor I don't need. I think some of this stuff isn't. Yeah, mercenary coat. Bye bye. Just need to make room. Go sell some stuff. Okay. Mm. Right. Roll 
rolling my eyes around uh, inventory limits. I understand why they must exist. Um, the invent, uh, you know, in the end, it's like going to be another thing that gets me to engage with the systems in the game because I'm reminded that I'm playing an RPG after all, and um, and there are shopkeepers where I can sell stuff and buy stuff and whatnot. If there was like infinite inventory space, I would just hoard everything, probably never talk to a shopkeeper again for the rest of this game. So. Uh, folks in chat pointing out that um, I was saying earlier that, you know, uh, part of the reason I may not want to put a character in my party is because they're like have they're redundant in their role with my main character or something like that, like two two-handed sword fighters. You can respec a character or spec them differently uh, to make them more complementary. So the game doesn't strictly um, you're not really forced into it, but. Um, I think the re the respecking I'm sure is still limited to the character's class. Like I can't turn Iron Bull into like a mage or something like that, which I wouldn't expect expect to be able to or or even want to be able to do. But I mean, respecking is always a nice option because usually in games like this, you don't get to even try something until you have already spent a point on it. Um, and those points can be hard to come by, and you don't want to have too much kind of uh, buyer's regret, what, uh, buyer's remorse, as it were, when uh, with your ability selections. Um, alrighty, I wanted to... I just found a cool recipe, a cool-sounding recipe thing. And where's the... It's not the quartermaster, it's this guy. It's a blacksmith. Oh, it's right there. It's just like in real life, I need a Come GPS on, to get around the corner. Well, let me... Can I actually sell? Oh, I'm going to I want to go sell some stuff first. There's Iron Bull there. I'll have a I'll have a chat with him too. Okay. Sell. Is this a spare? I, yeah, it's a spare sledgehammer. I think it says what stuff is equipped, or maybe it won't even let you sell stuff that, yeah, it won't let you sell stuff that characters have equipped. anymore. These are all like whatever. Never gonna use that stuff. Restriction, not Varric. Okay. Okay. Um. Th 
built melee defense. 2% melee defense, whatever. 2% is freaking meaningless. Um, these are all crafting ingredients. I mean, I'm just going to assume I should keep those. What categories? These are valuables. Are these just... Can't even examine. I think this is all... Oh, creature research item. Okay, so some of these are actually... Okay, I'm glad I didn't sell all. But it seems like some of this stuff I could just pretty safely get rid of and it warns me otherwise. Okay, whatever. the creature research lady. It's not the quartermaster, is it? Let me go. Oh, oh, it's the apothecary. I think it's the apothecary. No, that's the potions. help you with anything? I'd like to know more about the so Iron So she Ball. hangs out with him. The chief. First time I met him, he saved my life. I never thought I'd work for a canary, but he grows on you. He's not like any commander I've ever worked for. That's for damn sure. How's Iron Bull as a commander? If you know what you're doing and hold up your end, he's easy. He doesn't accept any less. If he keeps us alive, he leads from the front, and if you've an idea that'll win the fight, he listens. I've seen bands whose captains had to prove they were swinging the biggest sword. Well, isn't like that. The judges might give him more lip than you'd expect, but every one of us would lay down our lives for the big ass. That's cool. How did a Tevinter soldier wind up in a Kunari spy's mercenary company? I wasn't a soldier at the time. I was in some trouble, trying to flee Tevinter. A tribune and his men caught me in a border town tavern. They meant to make an example of me. Well, killed them. Gave up his eye doing it. Patched me up and asked if I was looking for work. I've been putting up with his jokes ever since. That's how he lost the eye? Yes. The guards had me on the tavern floor when Bull came inside and yelled for them to stop. One of them saw trouble coming and figured he'd finish me off. The guard had a flare. Bull put himself between me and the blow. They can't, idiot. Didn't even know me. Is it strange to work for a Kunari? He hasn't tried to convert us to the Kuhn, if that's what you're asking. The Bull's charges don't care who you light a candle for, so long as your shield stays up. If he hadn't told me he was Ben Hasroth, I'd have thought he'd left that life behind. I didn't expect he'd tell you all that he was a spy. Not the whole band, but those who've been around long enough to trust. He figures most of us would find out sooner or later, and it should come from him. Eyes to eye, he says. It's never messed up a job. He just writes letters back home. Lots of the boys write letters back home. We'll talk later. That's cool. We get better horses, yeah. you think that'll make a difference? I like talks about like mercenary companies and stuff more than whatever. Been been quite a lot of uh, political type stuff. Whoa, one forty one DPS. This is better than what I'm rocking. Can I make it? Plus one constitution, plus one strength. Let's go with that. Drake stone. Plus two damage to guard, plus ten health. One percent chance to stagger target. I mean, 1% chance to stagger a target. Jeez. Whatever. Enduring Great Axe. 
is made. Staff blade. Who even uses this? Feels silly. Okay, so I crafted a weapon. Oh, and I actually found found this one, rare mall. But this is a little bit better. And it's actually better than the DLC weapon things. So I can get rid of those, I guess. Modify weapons. It's available. Modify armor. Plus 3% melee defense, whatever. Okay. Armor upgraded. I think that's the first time I did that. Battle day. Craft of armor. Okay. You need something, let me know. I don't know, this axe may be even more ridiculous than the than the sledgehammer I was using before. Oh, let's talk to Iron Bull. They've got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. It might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Kanari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. You sound like you want to head down there and give the troops some pointers. Nah, I'm no good at command unless I know who my guys are sleeping with and what they like to drink. Inquisition's already too large for that. The charges are big enough for me. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader. No Inquisitor. Right. Liliana's been pulling the strings of the Inquisition ever since it started. Red's your spy master, not your leader. I don't see her standing in the spotlight anytime soon. My people don't pick leaders from the strongest, or the smartest, or even the most talented. We pick the ones willing to make the hard decisions, and live with the consequences. Ah, who knows? Maybe you sealed the breach. The Tantry gets off its ass, and all those soldiers go home and get fat. You think? It could happen. It won't. <laughs> but it will. Yep, Iron Bull is cool. I like him. Um, we got a bunch of power points. Um, yeah, a bunch of power points actually. What else can we do? Is there? Um. There might be more stuff. I'm not sure if anything new is unlocked in the uh, in the war room, but I guess I'll check it out since I'm in the area. We can get that for you right away, sir. But I thought or not. Can I help you with something? Nope. Farewell. Make a go with you. Two, it's true. Down Iron Bull is cool. Man of the people. Empathetic uh, leader type guy. Keeps it real. I will take these injuries. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. Farewell. 
I can't remember oh, well. where the uh, creature researcher lady was. Oh well. No big deal. Hey, Inquisition perks. These were like not. None of these seemed like awesome, at least uh, the ones that were available to me. I guess it's that they add up. Grants a significant increase. 10% chance to receive extra herbs. Actually, the new dialogue options ones are probably valuable. Resistance to being unseated. I guess it's like horse riding. Reduces by 5% the time it takes for Cullen to complete operations. 5 whopping percent. Um, dialogue options related to nobles and politics sounds riveting. I'm gonna go with this first. Um, open new dialogue options related to criminal activities. That sounds like an inquisitory thing to do, so... That's that. Done. Report ready. Well, what is that crazy image? Got some gold. In progress. Oh, there's something over here. Investigate the shards. Um, her for it. I was able to study the scroll. Reference is vague, but it implies a connection to a temple. Blah, blah, blah. New area unlocked. That's the important thing. Forbidden oasis. New area. Alright. go with Iron Bull, Solus, and I think I have a decent bow for her, so I'll try Sarah again. I started playing uh, South Park, this the Stick of Truth earlier today. It's on it's on a big uh, Steam sale, like uh, less than fifteen bucks. I've been meaning to play it all year. Really, really like it so far. But since it's like an RPG, um, kind of Earthbound style or something like that, um, it makes a funny, uh, interesting counterpart to this game. But yeah, since I'm playing, I, I've sort of committed myself to playing Dragon Age uh, exclusively on stream. Um, I'm only going to be playing it, you know, after kind of late at night, uh, four or so days a week. But now, uh, and I want to play it more, actually. Um, but so, so it was good to get South Park as well as something I could play offline, um, as it were. But yeah, South Park seems really uh, really cool. So yeah, if you like this game and are hankering for another RPG that's maybe a little less dense and takes itself a little less seriously and you haven't tried that one yet, that is for sure worth checking out. Provided you like South Park, I suppose. Come to join us at the Oasis? It's actually quite the sight. It and the temple are further in. Have you learned anything more about the temple? Honestly, 
I don't like the feel of the place. No one does. Why not? Couldn't say. It's just a... feeling. Anything else I should know? Not much to tell. A mining company out of Valfermain used to have an interest here, but... economies change, and they moved on. Strange the miners never marked the temple on their maps. <laughs> she just vanished. It's funny you could be in, uh, in the other area. Area, <laughs> and here she didn't. So I don't know if that was if I was like, meant to hear that later in the game or something. This is a very different looking area. It's pretty cool. I'm in like Arizona now. Ricky guitarist in chat says uh, people in this game have really good looking freckles. I I agree. The the uh, <laughs> the com the complexions on characters are really quite lifelike. One more somewhere. Masterance, terrifying and inspiring. They teach you everything you need to know, give your life purpose. No, I mean, are they like you? Big and oh. oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, shit, yeah, is the funniest line so far in this game. The use of uh, profanity in this game um, thus far has been uh, restrained appropriately, I, I, I believe. Um, I think video games in general are like past the point of uh, profanity for novelty's sake, so usually if a game has like swearing in it, at least in the stuff I've, I've played lately, I haven't played anything with like really blatantly dumb and inappropriate swearing. Oh. Haven't had one of these in a while. Ow, that hurt. levels up besides me. Cool. You know, I wish, um, I don't mind the auto leveling up. Uh, obviously, I'm doing it on purpose. I wish, though, that it, like, I'm, I'm, like, willing to 
give up that level of control, like, I don't... But I wish I knew what was actually being picked for the guys <laughs> when the leveling up was occurring. And I, if it gives you an indication, I haven't noticed. Um, I do recall I think I have a good bow for her, or it might be better than what she's using. Looks like it's like marginally better. Five percent crit chance. Five percent crit chances is uh, decent, actually. Um. All right. Scout mail is better. Already. It's kind of sad. They have their cool default outfits, and you kind of replace them immediately. But oh well. Gotta stay alive. Fire resistance cowl. Defender mail. Mercenary coat. Oh wow, that's a lot better than what he's using. That's said. Replace his like trusty whatever. He's got his cool custom weapon. But eighty four AoE damage. Maybe I'll keep that. It's like less powerful, but the AoE damage sounds like it's useful. Okay. Um, my guys are like... It actually kind of hurt. Oh. This is a camp we don't have. No, that's a camp we do have. This is a camp we don't have. Let's go there. That's really nice looking. Cool, uh. Nice lighting. So, set up camp or keep moving? Why would you not want to set up camp? I've new, sir. No choice at all. What do you got, requisition officer? Report. What is it? You may want to look into this. Save the game just in case. What is that guy? Oh, level 12. Blood Lotus. I needed that for something. Oh, part of the quest. Treasure. Dalish Slasher. Man, there's a lot of herbs.
Look at this. Huh. Deep mushroom. It's like... Huh. Cool little mine shaft thing. Left or right? Excruciating decisions. That poor bastard. sketchy in there too. Now this is the type of thing that in an RPG I normally jump off of. Am I going to die if I drop down there? No, oh, well, one way to find out. Whoops.
Is that gonna murder us? No, it's not hostile. I better fast travel back because my guys are pretty jacked up. When I, uh, during combat, I don't have, like, a good, I guess it's because I'm just, like, auto-attacking with my party, but I don't have a good impression of who in my party is doing the heavy lifting, if anyone. They're definitely all, like, contributing or something like that, but I guess, like, um, I think it's Solus the Mage is casting, like, a shield spell. Uh, that seems really, really useful because it's giving me, like, it's giving everybody, like, a second health bar. Uh, keeping everybody alive. Um, but other than that, energize what? Allow me to oh, take a look. Requires a mage. I see. Yeah, I don't know that Sarah is doing anything that awesome in combat. Okay. That's handy. And I get a shark. That like treasure hunt thing. Temple of Pride. Let's go there. I think that's the main thing I'm actually supposed to do here. Is that a There's a woman over there? Yeah. Who are you? Why are you following me? I'm just looking for stuff to salvage. It used to work. I know no one needs it. Allow myself to introduce I'm with the Inquisitors. myself. You're not here a while, but I'll assume that's important. Doesn't explain why you're following me. You came all the way out here to salvage old mining equipment? Mostly, I wanted to go into this old cave. Used to store stuff there. Damn thing wasn't overrun by spiders. I put my wedding ring there. Couldn't stand the sight of the thing. But I couldn't throw it away, either. Oh, it was a stupid argument. Part of me knew I'd still want that ring. Okay. I'll leave you be. Right. See you then. There's no cooldown on, on the jump, so you can just jump around like an idiot. Important facts. Oh wait, no. I was already in here. My ridiculous axe is very shiny. I don't know, that axe is like too... Uh, too home shopping network whenever I show it's a little silly, I think. Maybe this is... Can I actually bust it? I don't think I can bust anything down like that.
there, there should be a game where when you walk under a waterfall, you just like get crushed and it kills you. Like from the water pressure. Like usually in video games, you just stand under a waterfall and like, oh, it's nothing. It's like, man, I don't know. That's that amount of water just like crashing down upon you. Maybe I'll try that. I'm curious with the uh, rift closings, since I chickened out and ran away. Um, does the whole thing reset? I'm guessing maybe it does. Or can I just kind of whittle away at it, since I killed a good amount of the guys? I'm guessing they're all back. on it for a second. We'll go here. Yeah, let's do this. I haven't been to the hinterlands in a while. Um. Yeah, as far as, like, I guess, um, in terms of what's happening in the story, um, I, uh, in the war room, I only saw the one 15-point, um, uh, the 15-point mission, which seemed like it was going to lock me out of the mage quest line or something like that. Um, oh yeah, actually Redcliffe is here in the Hinterlands, and that was um, where I was invited to go. So yeah, maybe I'll check that out. And then maybe that'll open up some more some more options for me. Talk often to your companions at your stronghold.
now I have a number of these pretty big areas opened up, so now I really feel like there's a lot of stuff I can uh, bounce between. Which is cool. It's like this kind of design ensures that you can't, it's like, you can't really get bored uh, in the sense that they're, they're if you get tired of, in a given area, you can kind of pace the game for yourself. You just go off and do something else, go somewhere else. Um, yeah, like, look at all this. Good lord. Okay, that's, that's Red Cliff. I actually want to do this. Because I can always fast travel back. I wish my horse had a name or something. Mount. So functional. I mentioned, uh, uh... This is probably not the right way. Shadow of the Colossus not only had some of the best, like, kind of best looking, at least, uh, horse riding, but... Uh, wisely made the horse a character, which I think, you know, for anyone who... I think riders very frequently form... I'm, I've only... I've, like, ridden a horse in camp, like, a couple of times, but I would, I would expect that it's pretty common for people to form bonds with their horses. But in, in video games, very rarely are horses kind of treated with any kind of respect. They're just they're just mounts. They just get you somewhere faster. I I feel like all that stuff. It's always a missed opportunity for a character. My favorite example of something like that is the is the weighted companion cube in, in Portal, which is like. It's a box, and they they turned a box into a character. Um, it could have just been a box um, that you carry around through an, an entire level. Um, th those kind of opportunities are, are just all over the place in games. And from a game development perspective, it's like pretty cheap to... It's not like costly... To, to develop those things, like in the case of this horse, just just call it Fred, or instead of Mount, or something like that. Just anything. Um, have the characters talk talk about it a little bit. That's one one more thing that you could get attached to. But yeah, I don't like you know whatever. There's a lot of discussion about how different types of ethnicities or genders and whatnot are treated in games. I find the the, uh, the way that animals are treated in games to not be uh, super awesome either. I guess that'll be the next frontier once, once the social issues are sorted. <laughs> but I like animals better than people, to be quite honest, in a lot of cases. about to die. Uh, and I am dead. Oh well. Darn. Take over with this guy. Man, the sound effect on Whirlwind is real crazy. Avar Raider Greatsword. That sounds kind of cool. It's probably not better than Whirlwind. Oh. 
maybe I shouldn't be battlefield looting, letting my people die. Iron Bull, yeah. <laughs> that was probably pretty out of character for Iron Bull. Just leave all my, all my friends. Okay, we're all fine. Have a drink. sword. I wonder if that's any better than what I'm using. Probably not. Oh. Level 9. AoE damage. You know... try this thing instead. That axe is like silly enough looking to where I don't really want to use it. Come back here. Look at this guy. There we go, found you. Lustrous cock. I detect uh, some sarcasm in chat, my, my sensors. Uh, Hasun is saying, remember when Greg tried to avoid killing harmless animals in Skyrim? <laughs> yes, well, that was then, this is now. <laughs> yeah, I think I... Maybe I did try to... I, I don't remember. I think I did mean things to animals in that game at times, but then... I don't even remember. Push ahead. I doubt that was the last of them. You think? Back in the saddle. <laughs> Hello. You missed. Whoa. Whoa, I don't want to deal with that bear. Dude, that bear is gonna... Shit! Dude, we are so... I'm so dead. This is bad. Unlock stupid camera. Run away. No. <laughs> Go away, jerk. Uh. Oh, God.
Surely I'll find safety in this temple up ahead. This is not um, one of the Inquisition's proudest moments here. Hey, a landmark. Oh god. I wanted to loot that. Ain't gonna lie. This is gonna be the next 12 hours. Oh god, it fell. another freaking bandit camp. Huh. Well. Oh, crap. Some crystal grace. Sweet. I suppose I shouldn't push it. Yeah. God, it burns. Oh, no. I can't take that right now. Alright. Well. I uncovered some fog of war. I need to fall back. Nothing to report, sir. How do I even get out of here? Hello, Mount. My trusty steed. people that's why buy slash sell what are you selling it's good to have commerce restored I've many goods here if you wish to trade A lot of guys standing around. Thank you. If you say so. It's 
a lot fancier looking than Redcliffe and uh, Dragon Age Origins. Nice work putting out those bandits. That will make it much easier to bring in supplies for the refugees. Sure, dude. Farewell. And you as well. Sure is quiet. Wait a second. I'm an idiot. Where the hell was my... I think I was, like, following the wrong marker or something. It's weird. Oops. Come on, horse. I bet they tried having, like, giving all your party members horses, having, like, four guys stomping around, and it, like, broke everything immediately, and they're like, let's just make everybody disappear and have only one horse. guys. Keep getting in my way. Once I get to Redcliffe here, that'll be a good place to uh, to call it a day. And then for next time, which will be 
Tuesday, 10.30 Pacific, we will uh, use all of the power that we have accumulated to unlock some big new story mission or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, today we got, uh, what, three new party members? Vivian, Sarah, and Iron Bull. Uh, unlocked a couple of new areas. More kind of questing. Growing the Inquisition stronger and whatever. Oh boy. Oh, whoa. Whoa, is right. That's a rift, isn't it? These guys remind me of the soulless from from the Myth games. If anyone remembers Myth, Myth was awesome. I I like me some Halo. Uh, ha Halo was so successful that it, it, Bungie could never do something like Myth again, and for that. Uh, is always kind of sad. I have not been able to do many of these. What uh, was that? That rift altered the flow of time around itself. What? That is unexpected. I didn't notice that. We need to have mercy. Over. Open the gates. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one? Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona? If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. <laughs> the former Grand Enchanter. Very The Veil is weaker here than in Haven. And not merely weak, but altered in a way I have not seen. Frame rate still chugs when there's a lot of NPCs. That's that's what hits it the hardest. Am I even going the right way? Yeah, I guess so. I had the dream again last night. No, there'll be no talk this time. It was so real. Folks in chat talking about Myth, uh, since I brought it up. Myth was a really cool um, real-time strategy game set in kind of a um it's like a dark it's a high fantasy setting but very grim and somber in its tone think of like lord of the rings but everybody dies sort of thing um 
but a really strong tone and you get you get pretty attached to your characters but they're all had kind of like a permadeath feel um, a lot of the fights felt really ho hopeless um, but it did a lot of the um, it explored a lot of the stuff that Halo later did of like um, just these like open-ended almost like physics-y combat um, with a lot of like explosions bouncing other explosions around and so on I'm not sure if I should be listening to this character it's just raving tell me about your people um, they say a spirit dwells in a small lake south of the highway the girls of the village bring it daisies and ask but yeah uh but simply put myth myth was a real time strategy game where there was no base building it was purely a uh, unit like purely tactical combat um and the tactical combat was really strong and, and the story and everything and setting was great Go to the gull and lantern and meet Fiona. Go. Go. In the middle of the wall. That's a pretty big town. A lot of stuff here. Good day. Would you Good day? I guess I don't need that. Oh, full on, full on loading. What awaits behind this loading time? <laughs> I suspect a cutscene. Uh, Ricky in chat uh, is asking, uh, uh, Halo was an RTS first, right? And yeah, th that is the case. Um, uh, Halo, like, I, Halo did not necessarily, they didn't know that Halo was going to be a first person shooter, I think, for a number of years into the development of that game. Um, I actually got a chance to see it back when I was working at GameSpot. They brought it by when it was like a PC when it was a PC game before the Xbox, I think, was even announced. Um, and it looked really cool. It had, like, the, the world design of Halo, and it had the Covenant and, um, and like, the, the, the Marines. Um, but the, Welcome, the gameplay the the completely changed later. I think there's an old uh, GameSpot PC preview of that version. We're here because of your invitation back in Val Royale. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royale since before the Conclave. If it wasn't you who invited me here, who was it? I... I don't know. Now that you say it, I feel strange. Something is afoot. Whoever or whatever brought you here, the situation has changed. The free mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinta Imperium. This right here is why you can't trust mages. I understand that you are afraid, but you deserve better than slavery to Tevinta. As one indenture to a magister, I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. <laughs> You've made a huge mistake. Very well. Who's in charge now? 
Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Clearly a good guy. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command. And you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? Interesting. Interesting. I'd like to know more about this alliance between the Rebel Mages and the Imperium. Certainly. <laughs> what specifically do you wish to know? Truthella in chat says romance him. What does the Imperium gain from taking Rebel Mages under its wing? For the moment, the Southern Mages are a... What the hell does he have on this? He's got like crazy... After Claws they are the properly sense. trained, they will join our legion. You said not all my people would be military. There are children, those not suited. And one day I'm sure they will all be productive citizens of the Imperium when their debts are paid. Hassan in chat I'm here points to get out mages to close the breach. When a character right, has a funny hat, um, I understand, chances are they are evil, to paraphrase. The rule. Uh, I think it's a pretty, pretty solid logic. I think. I Felix, think you'll would you send find that that rule holds please. true the Pardon vast majority mind. of the time, if my not all son the time. Felix, friends. See, Felix doesn't have a funny hat, and he's I'm probably okay. I'm not surprised okay. you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious indeed. Well, when you're fighting a massive tear in the sky, you can hardly afford to think small. There will have to be. What? Felix. I'm so sorry. Please forgive my clumsiness, my lady. What's going on? Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. I guess the son is sick or something and they need to help him. Oh, he slipped me a note. Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. Okay. Well, aren't we secrety? We'll be careful. But we need to figure out what's going on here. Magister Alexius does not approve of those without magic like you and me. You may not wish to stay long. Many villagers have already left to escape his ire. Farewell, then. One moment. You are a member of the Inquisition, are you not? I am an alchemist. You must require potions. If the Magister will not have me here, perhaps I can offer my services. We would be delighted to have you working for the Inquisition. Thank you. While one lives, it is good to believe there is still a use for one's talents. True enough. The Inquisition, back again. Perhaps I can be of use. Farewell, then. Farewell. It's cool. Live bard music. Very Renaissance fair. Inquisition, huh? I wish to holy and trust that you'd go here sooner. These two pieces make my shoulder blades itch. Goodbye. Be careful. The Tavinters likely aren't happy you're asking questions. Yeah.
Out of me way. Dude, I went the wrong way. Get out of my way. Oh, that's like a full on, yeah, full on loading. Hmm. Colin seems pretty cool. He's one of the guys in the in the war room. I didn't mean to exit. I I forgot that there's gonna be a. I'm getting the load time punishment. I just wanted to uh, see if there was a place to heal up or something. I may have been done in there though. Truth Teller points out uh, Jennifer Hale plays Krem, the the uh, kind of the lieutenant of Iron Bull. That's cool. I didn't immediately recognize her as Krem. I think Jennifer Hale does a lot of really good work. I the I thought the uh, the the woman version of Shepard is like just straight up better than the than the male voice. To me, she was like the canonical version of the character. What is this? Maybe I can't. It's, is there really not like a... Oh, okay. There is a fast travel point. I see. Do I have to like... Yeah, I guess this is awkward, but... I guess I need to fast travel to a camp. Um, Cause then I'll heal up and get all my potions back. Um, and then go back to Redcliffe uh, village. It's kind of weird, but it works. Not a very fancy uh, screen. I bet they wanted to make a fancier screen there, and one of those things. Might be something here. Priorities. Better take a closer look. Alrighty. Well, here I I shall save. I'm not a compulsive uh, saver, um, so I'm actually going to overwrite a save. I like I like the more hard hardcore mode. I'd like to. Uh, continue on with the consequences of my choices. Look at that nice view. It's quite a pretty game in a lot of spots. But yeah, um, I believe I'm going to call it an evening. Uh, next time we will uh, delve deeper into Redcliffe Village here and I bet um, advance the story quite a bit more and probably advance some of our uh, relationships with some of these new characters we've met. So... Thank you again very much uh, for joining me. Um, this has been fun and uh, technically gone uh, quite a bit smoother than the last couple of times, so hopefully that aspect will only continue to improve as I work out some of the kinks um, of, the live, of the live streaming thing. And uh, yeah, so thanks a lot. Um, I will be back uh, Tuesday, 10.30 p.m. Pacific, and plan to do this Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, for roughly, you know, start time is fixed, end time is not fixed, um, uh, for as long as it takes to finish this game. So yeah, until next time, peace.